All right, good morning. There's been uh, some questions about the T4M over the weekend, so what I thought I'd do is do a very quick video just to show you uh, basically what things I've discovered and hopefully give you a quick overview. So what I've done on the T4M here, I've just quickly set up OTC control, which is the outside temperature compensation control, and this is through an Intergas Eco RF24 boiler. Um, if I just show you uh, the graphs that we've currently got up the top. So if you look up the top here, um, you can see uh, with the outside temperature compensation controlled, I, I've turned off the uh, room compensation on the device. Um, but uh, basically with a set point of 20 degrees, which is what it's based on, and curve 16, which I've set, um, it's given us a required um, uh, temp max of 45 degrees Celsius. Uh, based on an outside air temperature of 5.3 degrees um, and what you can see is the boiler um, is cutting in and out on the gas valve because the um, heat emitter that I'm using is undersized to the appliance so we are getting a little bit of cycling on the burner but that's not what we're trying to talk about here at the moment what, we, what I want to show you is up here on the graph if you see the solid black line that's 45 degrees set point so I think you can see it over here that I actually changed the uh, temperature back up to 20 degrees Celsius which is the, the normally uh, required set point but what I just want to do is just go through the controls quickly here and um, show you that parallel shift actually works without room temperature control internal room temperature control um, and you, without using the room compensation I just want to show you what it does so on the T4M um, if you uh, if you on the actual device. Sorry, it's a bit of a rubbish video, but I'm just trying to um, show you how quick overview. Uh, if you press and hold those two buttons together there, you get inside the installation menu. So what you have to do, you have to keep pressing the tick all the way down until you get past setting number 16. And then you come into the open therm controls. Um, so then you want to go down to 10, okay? So you want to go all the way down to open therm setting 10. This is where you turn uh, uh, outside temperature compensation on and off. So currently I've got OT10 to one, which is the use of outside temperature compensation. Um, then I've got the, the curve, uh, which according to the graph, let's quickly show you <coughs> what I'm working off here. So um, we're working off the graph. That gives you a rough idea of what the graph is. So I'm, we're currently at the standard default setting of 16. Um, there as you can see and then so this says it's basically the heating curve ratio is at a room temperature setting of 20 degrees which we've got the thermostat set to but what it mentions down the bottom is parallel adjustment of the heating curve so for every degree you go up and down it changes the supply temperature approximately three degrees Celsius um, which I've discovered that that works, um, the parallel shift works without the room compensation being enabled, uh, which is really good. I'll show you that in a minute. But So this is what I'm working off, which is coincidentally the uh, it's a CM737 instructions, but they work exactly the same for the T4M. Okay, so up here, <clears throat> so we've got the curve set to 16 just to, for the purpose of the video. We've got the, out, we've got the room compensation actually turned off Okay, and if we save the settings like that, okay, that's how the settings were before. So what you can see on the screen is that we've got a set point of 20 degrees, which like the curve is defined by the set point. So 20 degree set point, 19 degrees is the actual room temperature in here at the moment. Okay, so what I want to show you is what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the thermostat here now. I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to, uh, take it down by degree. So I'm going to take it down to 19 degrees and watch what happens to the to the actual uh, temperature set point. Okay. So currently up here, if you look at uh, the temp max, right? What I'm going to do, I'm going to I've just adjusted that down one degree. So if you look at the temp max, it's currently 45, and then any second. So you see that's now jumped from 45 to 41 degrees. So that's using parallel shift. On the uh, on the actual uh, weather compensation curve that was used so if I go down another one degree look so if I've just adjusted the thermostat now down to 18 look 
So if you look at the uh, the temperature max again, that's just jumped from 41 to 39. So as you can see, the uh, the parallel shift works, and you can see it on the graph here. So if you look at the the black here, you can see that it was at 45, then it went down to 41, and now it's gone down to 39 degrees. So you can see the parallel shift um, in operation there. Okay. Bravo. Okay. So if I just go back into the settings. If I go all the way back down, if I go back down here to the open therm settings. So if I go down actually to the room compensation, the coat is there, and I enable that, okay, as well as the outside temperature compensation. So not only is it um, room compensated, but it's also outside temperature compensated as well, okay. Now, if you look at the curve, now if you look at sorry the, the graph, what you can see now is when I um, when I took the uh, when I put the so we stayed at 18 degrees look, okay, but that's actually one degree under the set point, and what it did it's dropped the actual temperature max down to 32. So if I put that to 19 degrees, so I've just upped the thermostat now to 19 degrees. If you look at the black line, which is a control set point. So now you can see the temp max gone up to 42. Okay. And if I up this another degree up to 20 degrees, if you look at the temp max again. So you can see the temp max now just went up to 51. So what you can see, the thermostat is now um, using a bit of bias on the internal reference um, and modifying the, the curve to suit which is quite interesting okay so if you verse it where it was before so with the room compensation on you can see now with it uh, a degree above it's actually calling for the, if you look at the temp max 50 degrees see it modified itself very slightly there it's calling for 50 degrees there which if you relate it over to here where we were before you can see it was actually calling for, for 45 degrees over there so with the room compensation on it calls for a bit more higher temperature than if you were just using the outside temperature compensation on its own anyway hope that's helped um, it's been a long enough video so any questions uh, let me know thanks a lot